All right, everybody, welcome back to the KSR YouTube channel. We've got another new build. It's not really a complete build for us, but another project that we're gonna be working on here. Yeah, if you're keeping track, we got a lot of projects we're working on. Sometimes we have to get some work done and then get some parts ordered because parts are all kind of delayed around right now. But uh, yeah, so some stuff, that's how the projects are going. A lot of projects you can't finish completely because you might uh, need to change the parts that you're ordering. So we take some steps forward, get some parts on order. And while we're waiting on those parts, we jump over on another project, work on that for a little while, at least until we run out of parts on it. And then we jump to another project, finish projects. Kind of like, you know, the, the C10 truck that was here, that one was kind of an, an example of that. I thought I'd ordered enough pieces to make the exhaust, didn't. Thought I'd ordered enough hoses and fittings to do the heat exchanger, didn't. I even ordered extras, like different angles, but then once we started fitting it actually to the truck, we needed some even more different angles than what I had ordered, or at least more quantities of the angles that I'd ordered. But anyway, let's talk about this car. So it's a uh, C5 Corvette. Be back in just a second. All right, well, you guys saw Drew with the Sawzall. He looks really excited. <laughs> We've got to do a lot of cutting on this car because we're doing a roll cage in it. And the way these cars are with their kind of perimeter frame, there's some areas that we need to lay in the cage on that are kind of hidden. So, uh, you ready to chop chop? Drew saws off. <laughs> Drew cut. All right, here comes a time lapse with Drew cutting this car apart. Let's see. Uh, let's see how far we get.
as you guys might have seen in the time lapse, I, I just gotta show you. Drew, what'd you do to his car? We make race car. We make race car go fast. <laughs> so yeah, there's some pieces missing now. Well, why did we do that? Well, I'll explain at least part of the reason for things. So you can see kind of the first spot here. That's the frame right there. And we want to land the roll cage right on top of that. So there was some aluminum stuff here that was in the way of us doing that. This carbon roof that Grant has bought, it's actually like a carbon Kevlar. It's got a windshield frame in it, so we didn't need the windshield frame. And talking with Grant about it, he didn't particularly like that the factory firewall was fiberglass and flammable. I mean, I don't like fire, and I guess Grant doesn't either. So he asked if we could do a metal firewall. So that's what we're doing. Now that's actually probably an area that we will end up being a little bit heavier than we were in stock form because, I don't know, the fiberglass stuff was pretty thick and it had lots of, you can see right there, it's, it's every bit as thick as my finger between the fiberglass and the epoxy to hold it together. Uh, they're gonna be running a pedal box in here, which if you guys don't know what that know, it's a complete assembly that will bolt to the floor. And it's got clutch pedal with a master cylinder, brake pedal with two master cylinders, and then the throttle pedal with lots and lots and lots of different adjustments. Lots of different adjustments so that they will be able to play with the bias, play with the pedal ratio, play with the pedal ratio for the throttle pedal, all kinds of different stuff. But we're gonna be taking you guys along for this build, which primarily right now we're starting off with the roll cage and the firewall and the roof mounting. And then Grant and Chuck, same guys that own the silver Miata in the back of the shop. This is kind of their next road race car. And they'll be putting the engine in the transaxle, the you know, torque tube, all that other stuff. And the plan for the engine is actually a de-stroked six liter, if I'm remembering right. So the class and the series they plan to run governs you by your horsepower and your weight. So if you make a certain amount of horsepower, you have to weigh a certain amount. So the idea is they're gonna build an engine that doesn't make a ton of power because they want fuel economy because it's an endurance road race car, but they want it to be fast still. So the idea is to make it pretty light and it's gonna have some pretty hefty tires on it. As you can tell, that's a, I think a 315 on the front. Uh, no, yeah, 315, 3018 on the front, and I think they're 335s or 345s on the rear. 335, 3018s. So anyways, we've got a pile of stuff left over, and before we added that to the pile, where's the other pile of, oh, there it is. So we actually weighed this earlier. And between all that mess was 50.2 pounds. Which kind of cool thing about that is that offsets a good portion of the weight we're gonna add with the roll cage. Like I said, the firewall is gonna add some weight back to it. But uh, take the roof off of it, just, just to, for the full effect. Just thinking that. Like, there's just nothing left. Let's get on to the next part of the video where we start bending up a main hoop and working on the roll cage for this thing. See you in just a bit. All right, I was about to save it for the next, like later once we started bending up the main hoop, but we just discovered something uh, kind of 
awesome and hilarious. I mean, aside from Drew smashing everything of the car, there's a build date on this car, right? Happens to be right there, November 30th, 1998. Why is that significant? It's my birthday. What are the odds of that? It's kind of cool, huh? Does that mean it's yours? Mm, can can I not have it now and have it when it's done? <laughs> if so, then yes. After it's paid for? Yeah, after, after, after it's, it's paid, paid for, it's mine. <laughs> we'll tell Grant that uh, because it was born on your birthday, you, you, you own it. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're gonna get to building the roll cage. <laughs> Alright, well as you can see it's kind of a little back and forth when it comes to fitting a cage in something like this that everything else is kind of in question. So what we've decided to do now, and will be kind of followed up in the next video, we're going to go ahead and get this mounted where it needs to be because the main hoop actually tucks up inside of this and we need to go ahead and set this to get the main hoop touching the bottom of this on the corners. We're trying to get 
every sixteenth of an inch of height into the main hoop so that the cage is as far from the drivers as can possibly be. It's just the way I like to do roll cages. I think it's the best way to do roll cages when you can get the cage out away from the driver as best as you can so that the drivers are safer inside of the roll cage. It's also going to help with getting the roof bars up nice and high so that they're you know where the driver's sitting in the car and the cage is coming right by your head it gives you more room there so that we can put padding on it everything kind of you know works in and applies together so what we're going to do back here is machine some spacers that fit around those holes they'll bolt in from the bottom and then they'll bolt in through the top and then that way the hatch is separate from the bumper so we won't have to take care of the yeah. oh, fit fit tight. Nice. Oh, well, I'll get that freaking bolt out of the way. Yeah, if we got to get something with a smaller head around the bolt, that's fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fit tight. Cool. Looks like you might have been on top of the bumper there. Yeah, might need to shave it off a little bit. No, I would, I would oh, trim the bumper. Okay. Yeah, so that way I'd like to have a little bit of space there around the... Like, you know, so that's thing. got a, yeah, that's got a nice solid seat on top of that mm -hmm. composite piece right there. So, but yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. You see, we've at least got the main hoop bent up and it's a little long still. I kind of trimmed it down a little bit, but right now it's within probably about two or three millimeters of where it needs to be height wise so that we can get everything just right. And then we'll come back and we'll mount the back, mount the roof once we get that figured out so that we can start taking some measurements and fitting and working on the front down bars, which you can see there's not going to be anything but roll cage underneath this up top. And if we have to trim off this edge right here to tuck the bar in real nice and tight, that's what we're going to do. So thanks again for watching. Appreciate everybody following along and subscribing. We'll see you guys next time.